Hi, my name is Olivia. Thanks for tuning into our channel today. Today we'll be cooking the lamb biryani with green beans and sultana. So some amazing flavors from India in about 30 minutes or so. So before we get going, give us a thumbs up, subscribe below, and then we'll start. All right, so let's look at the ingredients. What we have is the promised green beans. Here they are, looking good, nice and fresh, firm. There's a red onion, very suitable for this kind of dish. We'll make it into basmati rice. So we've got the rice here, then there's a lot of spices. So we'll have the cinnamon stick. We've got some garlic powder. We're using powder instead of fresh garlic just for that added sort of more um, mellow type of garlic flavor. We've got cardamom pods, we've got cumin powder, some turmeric, and then the best bits, which are obviously the cashew nuts and the golden raisins. We'll use a bit of chicken stock cube to sort of uh, give flavor to the rice. Uh, there's the yogurt to finish. And then obviously for this one, we're using uh, some lamb mince, a little bit more fat, a little bit more flavor. Getting excited yet? I'm salivating, excited. Let's start. So the first step is to dissolve the chicken stock cube in boiling water. So I've already heated the water here, but I'll put it back on the pan, uh, back on the stove just for like a light simmer. But I'm putting in the cube and I'm going to put the cinnamon stick. So this is going to give a nice flavor. It's going to make the stock in which we'll cook the rice on the pan. So basically, apart from this, this is a one pan dish. All right, I'll put it on a low simmer just to, for everything to dissolve and the cinnamon stick to add the flavor. So for cardamom pods, cardamom is really nice and sweet, very much used in Indian cooking. So the, the real seeds are inside, the ones that give flavor to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just squash these open with the back of the knife. I'll show you quickly what it looks like inside if you come closer. So these are the ones, the little cardamom seeds that give the flavor. So these are also used in baking. Um, and uh, but also in, in savory dishes just to add that flavor. Anyway, I'm just going to smash them a little bit and all of this can go in the in the um, biryani. I'll leave it here. Meanwhile, I'm just going to clean my onion and chop it small. So don't get worried about the dust under the, um, under the skin. We can rinse the onion before we start chopping it. There's nothing wrong with the onion. Okay. 
So we've got the onion chopped, we've got the cardamom pods squashed, and then the next step is to clean the green beans. So there's two schools of thoughts. If you ask the French, they will clean both ends. But because I'm a bit more lazy, I'll just clean this end off. And instead of using a knife, I'm just going to rip them off like that. It's a bit less fussy than, than with a knife. And at the same time, you, you kind of don't end up wasting a good bean. You just get rid of the, the top. So this is where the, the green bean grows, right? It's hanging like this from the branch. Okay. This used to be something that is always the kids' job. So every summer, cooking at my uh, grandparents' house, uh, French people use a lot of green beans, but that was always the job that was given to the kids, the small ones in the family. So we'd go outside it on the balcony or in the garden, sit with our bucket of green beans and just clip away. But it's a good way to get everybody excited about the lunch or dinner ahead. Everybody's a bit involved with their own task. Or in three. One and three. There we go. All right. So I'll just add a bit of oil in the pan. And let it warm up. Okay. The pan is hot, so I'm going to add the mince on and I'm going to leave it there to sizzle for a little bit and to get brown because I want it to have a nice brown color on. And then we will cover, reduce the heat a little bit so it doesn't cook too fast and the water gets the time to absorb inside the rice, so the rice gets the time to absorb the water. So we're reducing the heat and we're covering. We'll let it cook for about 12-18 minutes. We'll come and have a little look in a while and give it a nice stir. So biryani uh, originates from India and particularly from the Muslim part of India. India and. Uh, Today, if you ask what is a perfect biryani, everybody will have their own version of biryani. So all the different parts of India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, all the surrounding countries, the Middle East, everybody's got their own version of a biryani. Some biryanis have more gravy, more sauce. Some biryanis are served with, like ours today, with yogurt, uh, which is more Middle Eastern style. In India, it might have some chutney. Um, and it's quite rare to be able to make it in 30 minutes, so I hope you'll really enjoy this one. All right, I'm having a little look. It sounds like my biryanis, the water's all been absorbed, but the rice still looks, it doesn't look translucent, so it still looks like it's a bit hard, uh, like it's not cooked properly. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to add just a little bit more water, so I've boiled some water in my kettle. I'm just going to add a little bit more. 
So the reason this happened is because maybe I was a bit over eager and it's been simmering a little bit um, too fast. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. There's a really, really nice smell in the kitchen, I have to say. And you can see it's not burning and it's all the, the liquid has been absorbed. The rice has a nice glow to it. It looks amazing. So I've added a bit of salt. I'll add the cashews. I'll add a tiny bit of pepper. And I'll give it another good stir. Okay, this looks really, really good. You can see the consistency is nice and fluffy. The flavors are there. I think you will enjoy this. All right, let's just plate it and eat it. So I hope you really enjoyed uh, watching this video and learning how to cook a lamb biryani at home in 30 minutes or so. Super fast, super tasty, I can't wait to dig in. Before I do that, uh, remember to subscribe to our channel and select your recipes for the coming week on the link below. But now, let's see how we did. Mm. It's the raisins, it's the raisins that do it. It's delicious. Bon appétit.